Greetings, I'm Kurt Fonger. Real estate as an investment. What are your options? Plus, we welcome back John Tosillo, Chief Economist for Florida Realtors and an author as well. Plus, we have some great ways to appreciate the value of your home, community spotlights, highlights, and more. And it all starts right now. It's easy to get confused in South Florida. We have four major television stations, all with a P in their call letters. Your town, community, or county probably has a saint, a port, a fort, or a beach in its name. Tell me that's not confusing. And in northern Palm Beach County, we have all the Frenchmen's. Besides a Frenchman's nature preserve, we have Frenchman's Creek, Frenchman's Harbor, and Frenchman's Reserve, all expensive, high-end, exclusive communities. And then we have a very special community. It's called Frenchman's Landing. Let's take a look. Frenchman's Landing was started in the 1980s and was built out by the 1990s. It's nestled between Prosperity Farms and hood roads. There are more than 200 homes here. They range in price from the 300,000s to the 400,000s. You'll notice the meticulous landscaping, trees everywhere, lakes, walking trails. This is really good nature. The families here love not only the nature and the serenity, but the playground, including tennis, even a basketball court. The homes here are spacious, between 2,000 and 3,000 square feet under air. There are one-story and two-story homes with garages. Many of them have high ceilings in the home, always a desirable selling point. And yet, among all of the amenities and all of the lush landscaping, this HOA is affordable. Frenchman's Landing is close to the busyness of shopping, schools, and the beach, and yet, it's peaceful. That's why so many families seek to land at Frenchman's Landing. Pleased to welcome back John Tosillo, Chief Economist for Florida Realtors. John, everybody wants to know what the best housing strategy is if you're in the market in 2015. Well, Kurt, we can look at that in a number of ways. First of all, the interest rate environment is going to remain very mild. Mm -hmm. Interest rates are low now, and I don't think they get up uh, as high as 5% by the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, if they are more than 5%, we'll burn this tape. I never said that. Okay, so. But I'm okay. saying that that's about right. But so that's going to really freak out some people when yeah, the headline says oh mortgage yeah, rates up 25% yeah, yeah. from 4% oh yeah. to 5%. I have never, I never underestimate the capacity of the meter, media to instill fear in people. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but I think, I think uh, if you are going to buy a home, lock into a fixed rate mortgage, 10 year, 15, 30 year, it's your best bet. Uh, you, you'll be happy you did. Even if rates don't change, you'll be happy you did. So that's, that's kind of one buying strategy, number one. Number two, if you're an investor, it might be good to start looking at relatively lower priced homes if you can find them. Uh, one of the things we're finding is that statewide, the inventory of homes under $250,000 is, is, is way low. And that is definitely definitely a seller's market. There was a lot of cash coming in the last of couple of years, a lot snapping of up underpriced, low-priced homes. Exactly. Investors buying in bulk, large institutional investors, they're not doing that anymore. So if a single investor comes in, you really, you really should take the time to look for a lower-priced home. Don't look for a bargain, because they may not be there. Just look for a lower-priced home, which you can buy not do too much to to bring it up to the market and rent it out to a middle class family. And that's really, that's really the, the, the um, how should I put it? That's the spot, the niche in the market where investors can really succeed during 2015. A good return on their money. Good return on their money, nice solid tenants. I, you know, it, it, it'll work. 
And as I said, interest rates are low, so you're not going to borrow too much for that. If you are a buyer, stay in your comfort zone. Don't think that just because the market's back, I can now make a killing on this house and I can buy a home for $400,000 and three years from now I'll sell it for $600,000 and I will be set up. Uh, ain't gonna happen, okay? Not because it's not gonna go to 600, it might, but because getting out of your comfort zone with that kind of thinking usually winds up, has a bad ending. Okay? So you, you don't think flippers are gonna be coming back? I think, th I think there's, a, there's, a, there's a kind of flipper who is coming back, and that's a guy who buys a home for $150,000 that needs a lot of work, puts 100000 into it, and sells it for $300,000, okay? A lot of work, a lot of upgrade, modest profit. Not the kind of people who used to have simultaneous closings going on. Right. Buying in one room, selling in the next room right away. So I think that you've got to, you know, you've got to really do something to a house in order to sell it quickly. And you have to make sure it's in that price neighborhood. Yeah, I, you know, it's got to be, it's got to be consistent with the neighborhood. It's mm -hmm. got to be, it's got to be a home that's attractive to people who can afford it. So, and that's where you get into the fixing up and et cetera, et cetera. Now I get calls all the time. Someone says, Kurt, I want a really good bargain with a foreclosure or something in mm -hmm. a short sale still around? Short sales, not so much. Uh, we are seeing dramatic drops in short sales from a month-to-month -month basis. I mean, if I compare, for example, January of 2015 to January of 2014, I'm likely to see 40% fewer short sales in the state of Florida. And if I go back and compare month to month, going back to 2014, those numbers are 50 and 60% less. So short sales are going away. They're very, very hard to find because prices have gone up and a lot of people now who were underwater are above water. They don't have a reason. They're not a candidate for a short sale. Who knew they for could make a profit? Absolutely. Foreclosures are still out there and are going to be out there. And I think that looking for foreclosure is not necessarily a futile task, but you've got to be careful. Some foreclosures, which used to be nice when they were foreclosed on, have become decrepit because they've been neglected and empty over time. You've got to be very, very careful what you look at. Buying a foreclosure site unseen is a no-no. Okay. It ain't going to work. <laughs> Always good advice. John Tosillo. Thank you, Kurt. Chief Economist. Good Florida to be here. Realtors. Stick around. We'll be right back. At Ibis Golf and Country Club, you can have it all while living in the heart of a lush oasis. Here you'll discover a vibrant lifestyle, including an all-new sports village, fitness center, and luxurious spa. We're the only community in the world to boast three Nicholas family Design golf courses. But what really sets us apart are our members. I miss the place everyone wants to come home to. The legacy that has been created by the International Polo Club Palm Beach is back. The anticipation of thoroughbreds charging down the field, the solid click of mallet on ball, the pop of a champagne cork, and the excited revelry of thousands. Experience the unparalleled glamour and competition this season. Purchase tickets to a match today at internationalpoloclub.com or call 561-204-5687. SouthFloridaHomesAndLifestyles.com, a great way to search and find area communities based on lifestyles, amenities, and more. Log on today. I'm sitting here with Larry Rowe of LB Rowe Pools. We're sitting next to a beautiful pool, and it doesn't have your typical pool surface. No, it doesn't. Um, most people go with Diamond Bright, which is cost effective, and, and it's very adequate, last 10 to 15 years, no issues with it whatsoever. The next level up is Pebble Finish, and Pebble is very popular, comes in glass, um, a lot of deeper, richer colors, and it's a lifetime warranty. It's, it's worth the upgrade. How can it have a lifetime warranty? It just doesn't go bad. It's, um, it's just a really good product. Um, they stand behind it, and it's, it's very durable. Now, you have a remote control here from the pool. Uh, could you uh, tell me how it works? Yeah, it's basically just a wireless remote that um, you push a button and um, it can turn on the spot, turn on the lights, turn on the heater, um, turn on fountains, whatever you want to do, adjust the heat, 
adjust the uh, RPMs of the pump. It's pretty cool. It also works from the iPhone. You know, you can take your iPhone and there's apps that come with it that you can obviously do this from Atlanta before you get on a plane to get home. Your spa will be hot if that's the case need be. But uh, it's pretty high tech when it comes to the, uh, the uh, automation on the pools now. Now, when you're thinking about a pool, you're also thinking about the living space around the pool. Yeah, like in, in this house that we're at here, these doors behind us, they open up to 30 feet. This family's really done a, a, a nice job with that, and uh, it's a really good living environment out here. We try to make the back porch with the pool all be uh, joined together when we lay it out. And when you laid out the pool, you laid out that infinity edge, which is awesome on the intercoastal. Yeah, it is. And when you live on the intercoastal, you have to show it off. I mean, it's a free backdrop. You might as well use it. Larry Rowe, thank you. Update your pool. You'll love it. Time now in the program for some free legal advice from the Juris Doctor, James Chiaffi. Jim, good to see you here. Nice to see you, Kurt. I have to tell you, I'm as guilty as anybody about this, saying oh, it's just a standard contract. But you don't think contracts are so standard. No, not especially here in Florida, Kurt. There are two standard contracts approved by the Florida Bar and the Florida Realtors Association. One is an as-is contract where the buyer has the right to have inspections and can terminate the contract if they don't like the results of the inspections. Right. And the other one allows the seller to make repairs. But in addition to that, there's a third contract approved by the Florida Realtors that allows for business days versus calendar days. So between all of the contracts, you want to make sure you know whether there's a calendar day time period or a business day time period. So if it's business days and it's 15 days, it's actually what I would consider three weeks. Right. No weekends or holidays. Okay. So what about the terms of the contract? Other terms other than days? Yes, you have to be careful because even though there are standard printed provisions, it's what you fill in that makes the contract different. And some real estate office lo locally have an arbitration provision that they put in the additional terms. So you cannot pursue legal remedies in the event of a default. You have to go through binding arbitration. Lawyers hate arbitration. <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> what about closing costs? They, they also differ. Yes, they do. That's why it's important for a buyer and a seller to clearly understand what their closing costs are in that particular contract. There are no standard closing costs in any contract. Mm -hmm. There are customs locally, but there are no really standard closing costs. Mm -hmm. So you have examples of people that have uh, run into difficulties with standard contracts? Well, one of my favorites to tell you about is the term turnkey that was used in a contract. It was including the furniture and contents. So the seller understood turnkey to mean one set of towels, one set of glasses, one set of dishes. Yeah. The buyer said, no, turnkey means everything in the, in the unit belongs to me. So we had a dispute about the term. Avoid any ambiguous terms like turnkey. Usually turnkey means you can just open it up and then <laughs> it works. You would think so, right. Huh. But the seller thought it meant one set of everything and not all of the contents in the unit. Mm -hmm. so Other I people run into contractual problems as well? But yes. that's, that's what you do. Yes, that's <laughs> why it's, it's important to have a, an attorney involved for the seller and the buyer. Mm -hmm. So um, when a seller or a buyer is looking at a contract, you have to look at it very carefully as an attorney. Yes, definitely, because the, you want to protect their interest in the event there's a mortgage. We want a mortgage contingency. There could be inspection issues. So there are a lot of different issues from a buyer's perspective that we look at a contract that are different from the seller. Okay. So if you're buying or selling uh, and it's the contract is standard, this guy disagrees. So check it out with an attorney, James Giappi, the Juris Doctor. Thanks, Kurt. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. See you on the other side of this short break. Come on, you scamps. Get up, you sinners. You're all too full of expensive dinners. Stand Hit the high seas with the Tony Award-winning Anything Goes. Anything Goes is the perfect Broadway getaway with White Hot Dancing and a songbook of Cole Porter's biggest hits. The New York Times calls musical comedy joy. Anything Goes. At the Kravis Center, March 10th through the 15th. For tickets, visit kravis.org or call 561-832-SHOW. The legacy that has been created by the International Polo Club Palm Beach is back. The anticipation of thoroughbreds charging down the field, the solid click of mallet on ball, the pop of a champagne cork, and the excited revelry of thousands. 
Experience the unparalleled glamour and competition this season. Purchase tickets to a match today at internationalpoloclub.com or call 561-204-5687. Let's say you moved here from the north. One thing you're not going to miss is the snow. One thing you may be missing is natural gas. Scott Rank, you are the senior energy specialist at Florida Public Utilities, a big provider of natural gas, and you must get calls into the office that says, where are my natural gas uh, outlets? Yeah, amazingly, uh, natural gas is in most of the major markets in Florida, but residentially, we only have about 10% saturation. So you have to do a little research to find those neighborhoods where natural gas is available, but it's worth looking for. Why is that? Uh, the cost of heating your water, for example, if you had a standard electric water heater versus a standard gas water heater, the cost would be about half as much. Um, heating every, your home, too. Well, if you're in the northern part of Florida, we do have a little heat, and the heat is much more comfortable because it's about 130 degrees coming out of the vent rather than the other means it's maybe 98 degrees. Feels like cool air being blown around. Mm -hmm. Any other reasons for uh, wanting natural gas? Demanding it? <laughs> yes, uh, anybody that's cooked with natural gas uh, prefers it. Most chefs prefer natural gas cooking. There's more control when you turn it off, it's off. There's no element that's still hot that's gonna overcook your food. So. Uh, Great reasons to have natural gas in your home. It also increases the value of the home, uh, two to four percent, which is a great thing for resale value. And it's part of the energy efficiency in a home. Yes, it's uh, part of the energy efficiency system for your whole home, reduces the cost of ownership. And if you want to find out more about neighborhoods that offer natural gas, you can find that on our website, SouthFloridaHomesAndLifestyles.com. Scott Rank uh, from uh, Florida Public Utilities Company. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. It's Saturday morning and a water pipe in your home bursts. What do you do? Nathan Smith, you are a property damage expert. You deal in restoration. What do you do if you're a homeowner? Well, the first thing you do is you don't panic. Uh, water damages happen more frequently than people may realize. Um, common sources are, are plumbing supply lines, hot water heaters, um, bathtubs that are left on for too long. First thing you want to do is, is determine what the source is. Make sure you turn it off and make sure you call somebody who can dry things out properly. Um, the, the sooner you dry property, the faster and, uh, and obviously the less damage will be caused. Uh, but the most important part is it reduces the cost of the cleanup. Uh, if, you, if you catch things very early, a lot of times you never even have to go through your insurance. Okay. I get the thing about turning off the water to the house or mm -hmm. doing what you have to do in the emergency, but the cleanup is what <laughs> would baffle me, and that's what you do. Correct. Step number one is extraction. You have to remove all the excess water. Um, the envelope of the building, the drywall, the insulation, the studs, that's really the hardest part to dry. Carpeting and, and, and things you can access are much easier to dry. So uh, through using drying equipment, dehumidification, air movers, um, most properties can be dried with, with very minimal repairs needed if you catch water very early on and it's, it's a clean water source. And catching it early is important for your insurance claim. Vital, vital. Most people don't realize they have 14 days to report a claim to their insurance company once they know they have a problem. If they're not home, if they're out of town and they don't have the ability to report it, uh, they need to have somebody checking on their property, making sure that things are going well while they're gone, and if things do go wrong, to call and, and report the claim immediately. Okay, let's go over that one again, because so many people who are living here mm -hmm. uh, live here during the season, and then they go home to wherever they live for the rest of the year sure. and just lock it and forget it. Absolutely. And you're saying that's a mistake. That's a big mistake. Uh, first thing you should do is obviously check with your property management company, see if they have any type of services to assist you with checking on things. Uh, but perhaps it's a friend or a neighbor or a house sitting company. The key is documentation. You need to make sure that somebody documents every time they go, whether it's a notepad uh, by the front door or a timestamp photo is the best thing you could do. Just showing that everything was fine when they checked on the building. If something does come up down the road, they have a, a paper trail for their insurance adjuster showing when you know, this event did happen. Again, 14 days is critical there. Vital, vital. So where, are, where does your work come in relationship to the insurance claims process? Well, two things. Number one, we do prevention. A lot of times with a higher deductible, 
uh, the damage needs to be pretty severe for you to even need to go through insurance. So we'll go out and we'll inspect and determine, do you need to file a claim in the first place? The second thing would be once you do have to file a claim, assisting the homeowner through the process of, of uh, the first couple days before the insurance adjuster gets there. Uh, most insurance adjusters aren't going to be able to get there for at least 24 to 48 hours. During that time period, a lot of things can go wrong and a lot more damage can be caused if you're not taking immediate action. So you're going to at least put a Band-Aid on it to prevent further damage and then exactly. start to clean it up. We're, we're the, the EMT and we're waiting <laughs> on the surgeon to come. So. Okay, and you're a director of the independent insurance agents of Palm Beach County dealing with that it's organization It's a wonderful as group, well. really, really helps educate the community of Palm Beach on, uh, on how to handle insurance. Nathan Smith, that's good advice. Remember, 14 days and make sure you take care of things quickly. This is PGA National, one of South Florida's iconic communities. With me, longtime realtor Kevin Kent, and Kevin, you know PGA National. I do, Kurt. Thank you for coming out today, and welcome to sunny South Florida. This is winter in Palm Beach Gardens, and it's obvious why people come from all over the country to be in this area. PGA National is one of the diamond lifestyle communities in northern Palm Beach County, very much sought after, has all the sports that you would want. It's got four championship level golf courses right here in the community over 40 unique neighborhoods with price ranges from the hundreds to almost two million dollars for the estate you, homes. You're going from a, a, a condo or apartment lifestyle to single family homes. You're exactly right. There's there's condominiums, there's townhouses, there's small single families, there's large estate homes. Um, you've got the gamut here and, and people are attracted to that type of a property because there's such a mix. You know, there, there's such a mix of lifestyles. There's jogging trails, bike trails. People can can get out and, and mix with each other. It's a wonderful, wonderful area. And not far from shopping. Oh my gosh, the, the Gardens Mall, which is one of the premier uh, shopping destinations in South Florida, is only about a mile and a half away. Restaurants, clubs, everything you would want is so close to, to where you're at here. And where else do you get world-class croquet? <laughs> this is true. They have an international croquet croquet course near the club. You've got a, a four, four diamond resort that your guests can stay at. You've got a world-class spa with over a hundred spa treatments available to you. You've got championship level tennis and you've got the four golf courses on site, one of which being the Champ where they host the Honda Classic, the PGA Tour event, every year. And, uh, and the Champ also has the most infamous holes in golf, which is the Bear Trap. Um, so people really seek out to come here not only to improve their game, they've got a golf school on site. You've got everything you would want right here. Kurt. And if you fall in love with PGA National, there are so many homes here, there's a turnover. So if you can't find what you want today, there may be available this tomorrow. This is true. Across the different communities, there are 5,500 residential home sites within PGA National. And there's still the kind of green space that we're looking at here today. So it's a wonderful place to be. I invite you all to come down and, and visit PGA PGA National and Palm Beach Gardens. Truly a venerable development here. Kevin Kent, thanks for being here. Thank you. And this is PGA National, an iconic community. I'm here with Janine Henry on a Group One Mortgage talking about a no-brainer if you're buying a house, a VA loan. Kurt, a VA loan is a wonderful way that our government and I can honor our servicemen and women. What are the advantages of a VA loan? They can put down as little as 0%. A seller, if they choose, can contribute up to 4% of the purchase price towards the veteran's closing costs and prepaid items. And the interest rates are superior to those of conventional loans. So who qualifies for this? It can be an active duty service person or somebody who's been honorably discharged. One of the things we will ask for if they've been discharged from the military is their DD-214. Something they get from the military. And you've had lots of experience with VA loans. A, a great deal. It's my pleasure to work with the servicemen and women. The process is very smooth. It's, it's very easy. And it really warms my heart when I hear from the realtors involved that the home seller selected our offer over others to honor the veteran. There you are, Janine Henry on a Group One Mortgage with a salute to the VA loan.
SouthFloridaHomesAndLifestyles.com, a great way to search and find area communities based on lifestyles, amenities, and more. Log on today. At Ibis Golf and Country Club, you can have it all while living in the heart of a lush oasis. Here you'll discover a vibrant lifestyle, including an all-new sports village, fitness center, and luxurious spa. We're the only community in the world to boast three Nicholas family Design golf courses. But what really sets us apart are our members. Ibis, the place everyone wants to come home to. I'm Adam. I'm Jamie. Now, how many times have you watched our show over the years wishing you could come out with us and help us on an experiment? Well, now is your chance. Jamie and I are bringing the Adam and Jamie Unleashed Behind the Myths tour to your town soon. And the best part is we need your help. That's right. We need you to come on stage and be our crash test dummy. Jamie, tell the folks how great it's going to be. It'll be great. Yes. At the Kravis Center. For tickets, visit Kravis.org or call 561-832-SHOW. The legacy that has been created by the International Polo Club Palm Beach is back. The anticipation of thoroughbreds charging down the field, the solid click of mallet on ball, the pop of a champagne cork, and the excited revelry of thousands. Experience the unparalleled glamour and competition this season. Purchase tickets to a match today at internationalpoloclub.com or call 561-204-5687. Come on, you scamps. Get up, you sinners. You're all too full of expensive dinners. Stand Hit the high seas with the Tony Award-winning Anything Goes. Anything Goes is the perfect Broadway getaway with white hot dancing and a songbook of Cole Porter's biggest hits. The New York Times calls musical comedy joy. Anything Goes. At the Kravis Center, March 10th through the 15th. For tickets, visit Kravis.org or call 561-832-SHOW. And there you are. Thanks for watching. And remember, you can always watch South Florida Homes and Lifestyles on our YouTube channel. Simply log on to our website and click on TV Show for details. Plus, if you or a friend are looking for a new home, direct them to our website, SouthFloridaHomesAndLifestyles.com, where there are great community and realtor search tools, relocation information, town profiles, and more. Again, thanks for joining us. I'm Kurt Fonger. Have a good week.